Tonight on GDS, we're getting you ready for this year's Whiskey and Wine at the Rockford City Market Pavilion, plus Tuesday Trends with Triple T Creations. Oh, it's a good day, stay Hello and welcome to Good Day State Line. Thanks so much for being here tonight. It is Tuesday, October 4th. We have a great show for you as we continue at Mental Health Awareness Week. You're ready for this one? Today is not only National Cinnamon Roll Day, it's National Taco Day and National Vodka Day. Maybe that will make you feel mentally healthy, perhaps. We have whiskey and wine in the house to help us. Tonight, Becca and Anthony are here to tell us about next weekend's whiskey and wine at the Rockford City Market Pavilion. And another City Market favorite, Taylor from Triple T Creations is here too. We have a great giveaway for you at the end of the show. We got it all, but before we get to that, it's time for InstaChat. Every night we're breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story, kicking things off tonight with some big tour news. Ed Sheeran is finally bringing his mathematics tour to the U.S. I've been wishing for this for months and has been all over the rest of the world on tour and finally announcing a North American leg of the tour, which starts next May in Texas and includes a stop in Chicago at Soldier Field on July 29th, 2023. Tickets go on sale next Wednesday, October 12th. In other tour news, this is interesting, Demi Lovato had a pretty fun special guest Share the stage with her at a recent show. Ashley Simpson, the two performed a mashup of Demi's La La Land and Ashley's La La. I know you're probably thinking, when was the last time Ashley Simpson performed? You're right to think that. It has been a while. The last time we got any album and any kind of performance from Ashley was actually in 2018 when she and her husband Evan Ross released Ashley and Evan. Demi says that she was inspired by Ashley who managed to blend pop and rock on her debut album, Autobiography, that really truly was a huge hit when it came out in 2004. And speaking of the early 2000s, Drew Barrymore says she's ready anytime for another Charlie's Angels movie on her podcast, Drew's News. She was asked if she would do a third Charlie's Angels movie and she said, I would in a heartbeat. The answer is an emphatic yes, I will always say yes. Who knows, it could happen. Cameron Diaz did just unretire from acting. We've always got more Insta chat for you. Inside our Instagram story, Good Day State Line, including what Courtney Cox says is the greatest steak recipe of all time she got from Brandy Carlisle. You can check it out. Let us know if you make it. We'll be right back with a new book we should all read called You Are Not Alone. <laughs> 